I grew up basically right in town in Aspen and the opportunities to get outside when you're in Aspen, they're endless and I think that's what makes the place so special. You know, I came from like a big mining family. You know, my great grandparents a whole long time ago, like in Colorado, they were in the mountains, they were outside, they were working really hard and both my parents were incredibly hardworking, talented athletes and they really shaped my love for getting out on my bike, on my skis, whatever it was. So that's, I think, what really shaped me into the, the competitive athlete that I've been for a bunch of years. My name is Simi Hamilton. I live in Basalt, Colorado now. I was a cross-country ski racer for a lot of decades of my life, and I made the U.S. national team after graduating from college and ended up going on to race at three Olympics. I won a World Cup in 2013, skied at, I think, seven world championships, met my wife, who was also on the team. So a lot of really special things happened during that time of my life. There's so much translation between whether you're ski racing, bike racing, going out for a training session in the winter, training session in you know mid July. Like, there's so much overlap between you know people. People are like, how are you a good cyclist when you come from a cross country background? It's like, well, you learn to work hard. You spend a lot of time you know doing both things to complement each other, and it all just kind of flows in between. And you know you can get to a point when it all just kind of seamlessly integrates together. So my dad won the inaugural Leadville 100 trail run in 1983 and it was incredibly special for me to come back 39 years later and race the mountain bike version and I think for both of us it makes it even more special to be able to do it like in our backyard. Finishing Leadville was, was incredible, but I think just what it represents and crossing that line and knowing that you just accomplished something that's really, really hard, it's just a good feeling. And then crossing that line and seeing you know, seeing my pregnant wife, seeing Soph there, and just giving her a big hug. The relationship I had with my dad was incredibly special and unique to me because we bonded through being outside together and I kind of like to think of it as he like tricked me into learning how to work hard and be really passionate for these really challenging things in life but it was through just these really enjoyable times with him and that's what I'm most looking forward to with Lily is for her to be able to bond with me in those same experiences where she can really you know learn the value of being out there and working hard. Whether it's mining, whether it's ski racing, whether it's running the Leadville 100, whether it's mountain biking the Leadville 100, we've created this legacy of just being outside and being passionate for something and, and working really hard towards something. So legacy is probably one of the most important words or feelings that I can pass on to her and allow her to feel like she's part of something bigger than just her own life. As long as she has that care for something and that drive, that hardworking energy, like that's all I really care about. To me, that's gonna be her carrying on that legacy that been created in our family before she came. So as long as she cares about it, I'll be supporting her 100%.